Hi and welcome to Healing Divinity. My name is Christina. Today I'd like to talk about how to quiet your mind. So I have always had quite a busy mind. Um, actually crazy busy. I have a rising in Gemini. So a Leo Sun so that spurs a lot of creativity and a lot of thoughts. And I can spend a lot of time in my mind separate from everything else. So it's been a journey for me to be able to quiet my mind and to be able to center it and focus and actually to be able to just be in absolute silence. No thoughts, no ideas, no concepts, nothing. Just being. And it's it's something that you have to practice. Some people probably has a proficiency in it or they are more adapt to being quiet and not having so many thoughts. So there are a few different things that I've learned in my journey that helped me tremendously. After my awakening, maybe two thirds of my thoughts went away, um, where I just have more space between the thoughts. I don't think as much and I don't get stuck and I can see my thoughts much more clearly. So wherever you are on your journey, these are tips that I highly, highly recommend. So the first one is grounding yourself. Um, and it's basically becoming present within your body. And the easiest way to do this is spending time in nature, lots of time in nature. If you are, if you spend more time in nature, you will find that your mind simply quiets down on its own. It will just come back into the rhythm of nature and back into the presence of the moment. Another way to ground yourself is to become aware of all your senses, all your physical senses. So in this moment, if your mind is driving you crazy at this moment or whatever moment, instead of being stuck up here, in the storm, what's going on? Okay, become present. What are you feeling right now? Like what sensations? Are you sitting down? How does this feel to sit on your chair? If you're standing up, how does the ground feel? How does it feel to stand up? What's the temperature of the air? Feel it on your skin. What sounds are you hearing? Really listen, because often we just hear a few sounds, but once we start listening, we hear a lot more sounds. We become present. What's the smell? What do you smell where you are? doesn't need to make a judgment. It's just noticing what do you smell? What do you see? When you look around you, what do you see? So notice how these simple observations of bringing yourself back into your body will also take you away from your thoughts. Because you're basically training your monkey mind that's going blah, 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 to go, hey, let's focus here. <laughs> let's put the monkey to work. Let's see what happens when we make the monkey mind focus on one specific task. So what do you feel? What do you hear? What do you smell? What do you see? What do you taste as well? That's the fifth one. And so really developing the five senses will ultimately allow you to open up to your six senses. Seven, eight, ten. How many you, you can develop or that you're open to. Grounding and becoming present in the moment is key to all spiritual advancements. The second thing that you can do has also to do with becoming present in sensations. It's focusing on two sensations at the same time in your body. If you do so, you mind it's like running too many programs in the computer, you just error. 
Same thing happens for the mind. It can't think when you're focusing on two sensations in the body at the same time. So the easiest way to do this is focus on the sensation of the air coming in and out of your nose. And we can just start here. Just put your finger underneath your nose. And notice the difference of the temperature in the air as it's coming in and as it's exhaling. Unless you're in a really warm country that's over 37 degrees Celsius, most likely the air coming out of your nose will be warmer than the air you're pulling in. Okay? You just want to become noticed, or you just want to start noticing the sensations. Breathing in, breathing out. How does it feel right underneath your nose? Second, put your hand on your belly and as you're breathing feel how your belly moves as you're breathing any sensation it's doing ultimately you want your belly to expand as you're breathing in and contract as you're breathing out so you can just focus on doing that gently not controlling your breath too much but just be aware of it so when you're focusing on these two sensations underneath your nose and your belly you just you just get a shift there and then you can redirect your thoughts. The third way is to offer it to God. You're in a thought loop, you can't get over it. Someone hurt you, someone did something to you, or you're just upset about something, or maybe you're upset at yourself. Or you're just in a thought loop that you can't leave. So obsessive thoughts, um, that doesn't make you feel good and you don't know how to get rid of it and you don't know how to stop thinking about it because it's a constant play in your head. The most efficient way for thoughts like that is in my experience is just to go I know these are my thoughts and I know that they're there for a reason but please God please the highest can you take it from me and then I just wait and you don't have to put your hands up but this is this is sort of my <laughs> embodiment of surrendering. So you want to offer it up, take full responsibility for its being there. You cannot push it away and go, take it, I don't want it, I don't want it. You have to offer it and you have to go, I am responsible for this, but please help me find better thoughts. I want to be able to forgive. Please help me forgive. I want to be able to let go. Please help me let go. So those are three very, very powerful ways of quieting your mind. And also in the third way, when you're offering up to God, have no expectations how it may happen. I find that it's so efficient that I'll ask and then it'll be three, four hours and I go, oh yeah, I wasn't feeling that good a couple of hours ago. I wasn't thinking about those things that I didn't want to think about. And then I pray, and then, oh, right. Obviously, you don't even remember what it is. So it's very, very powerful. Um, and those are the three ways of how to quiet your mind. Please comment if you have any better suggestions, or if you want to add anything, or if you have any questions. Um, so much love. Thank you for watching. So much love.